We've spoken with a number of scientists in recent days even who have said uh, that they think that 1.5 is simply no longer possible. Could you give us a clear uh, impression of what the AOSIS understanding of the science is about whether 1.5 is still possible and uh, if uh, there, it is therefore possible to slow down significantly sea level rise so that a number of these small nations that face apparent obliteration within coming decades wouldn't? Again, let me say, if I, I would love for these scientists to speak to the negotiators who are asking us to wait until 2020. Because if they are saying now that the 1.5 is not possible, then are, are you asking us then to accept annihilation? It, that's the difficulty that I face. Because if it is true that 1.5 is not possible, which we are looking for 2015 to have a review on that, but if it's not possible now, then what is possible? It has seemed to me that the science is saying to us, if we continue the way that we're going, by the time we reach 2020, we may not even get a two, we may look into three or four degrees, which is going to cause us some serious problems. Cause some of our countries in the Pacific and in the Caribbean to be actually losing, losing a country in the process. So if the science is saying the 1.5 is not possible, then what is it saying is possible? Then we are saying then that we have to increase ambition, not decrease ambition. So then it becomes even more urgent that all countries should increase the ambition to cut greenhouse gases. So I, I, I don't know what else to say. And again, I say I'm not a technical person. But from a realistic standpoint, if that's not possible, then you've got to increase the ambitions. There is no other way to go about this. Thank you.